Morocco and its Atlas Mountains are one of the most magical places I've ever looked for adventure. It's a place that I need no excuse to come back to. It's a place of unmeasurable rewards for me, both on the bike and off. So I wanted to bring a group of riders who've not traveled as much to Morocco and connect with some locals I know and see if they share my experiences or find their own. I'm Dan Milner, I'm a British professional photographer. I've been shooting adventure stories all around the world for ooh, three decades now. And, well, I just can't get enough of it. Hi there, I'm Stefan Golicki, I'm from South Africa. I'm 31 years old. Um, I'm a professional mountain biker, um, specifically in downhill. I've been racing World Cups for the last uh, you know, 10 years or so. Coming to Morocco was, was a bit of an eye-opener. Uh, just wild place, uh, so different to the rest of uh, you know the rest of uh, Europe, and, and I'm based in Germany now, and, and it was just yeah really really crazy. You know you've got scooters flying at you in all directions, and, and people riding donkeys down the street, and uh, it was uh, <laughs> quite surreal to be honest. Felt a bit like a movie. Come on. No, you're not getting paid by the hour. <laughs> 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 I think the biggest thing that changed for me was the day that we spent cleaning up the trail and seeing it go from being this trail that was, it was really hard to ride. It was janky, you couldn't see where you were going, cleaning it up and then making it into this trail that really, really worked. And at the end of it, it was super fun to ride with the whole crew. My name is Scotty Lachlan from Scotland. I'm a professional mountain biker, content creator, adventure athlete. I've been riding bikes all my life. It was really cool working in the trails with them and just being able to like share with them, uh, just opening up a bit like wider lines and like identifying where pedal strikes and stuff could be. Yeah, I have a big long handle one about this. Yeah, Digging pocket. tool, yeah. yeah. Pocket rake. Pocket rake, yeah. Pocket rake. But hey, tool. you know? Tool. You can't win at everything, Dan. I think we just need to clean an entrance into it. And then, uh, and then it's like super squiggly. Yeah. All yeah, the way it down. Looks nice. The trees and yeah, the it does. I, I can just see me hitting my handlebars on that first That's tree, which is always a bonus. So, so like you can get up and then drop in. Then this this dirt at the end, mm -hmm. we'll pull down into the corner. Into the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Take that one out. Um, can't take that one out. It's got my bag on it. <laughs> He's trying not to be smug, but he is so smug right now. I moved the biggest rock today, it's what he thinks in his head. Larson and myself making jokes and you know, hooking my shoes with his, uh, with his spade like while we're walking down. He's just a big prankster. Oh. 
I'm Sharjah Johnson. I'm from Peter Marisburg, South Africa. Grown up riding bikes, like everything from cross country. I grew up with cross country, moved on to a bit of road, raced in Dura World Series and some Downing World Cups. Anything that gets me on bikes, I'm pumped with. Everyone worked real hard together, and uh, I think we you know, reap the rewards of that with the trails we got to ride. They were, oh, <laughs> no way, past us. That was amazing! That was so good. <laughs> you crushed it! You absolutely <laughs> crushed it! You showed the boys up, brilliant. Oh, you go look for my they were like, oh, look how cool we are. Oh, it went wrong. Oh, dear. And you were just like, get out of the way, I'm coming through. It. Brilliant. She was like, you can't park there. Oh. Okay, she pulled a super cross pass on us. <laughs> Bang! Brilliant. That's like the whole oh, track, so though. It's just a cloud of dust, top yeah. to bottom. Oh, wicked. That was really fun. So I'm Monika, Monika Buchi. It's in Swiss German. Uh, I'm from Switzerland and I'm riding bikes maybe 20 years. I got to turn down where the rock was and then I was like looking, I saw the spot and then I was like, okay, I came in way too tight and then I didn't even realize there was a high line. Dude, the rock was, the rock was like this size that he pulled out the ground and like now it's a natural burn. I think just having so little knowledge of what Moroccan life was like on a day-to-day -day basis, it was, you know, interesting hearing about their prayer meetings, how they how they focus their life around that and and the way that they eat together and the food that they eat. And I think what I would take away from it is the hospitality was amazing and the people were so generous and kind and went out their way above and beyond. It's actually quite easy. I've eaten so much this week. Uh, it really surprised me. <laughs> Tagine is unreal. Um, but yeah, we've, we've eaten so much. I've eaten probably about three times as much as I normally eat. And what will we do tomorrow? Tomorrow, inshallah, we start early. We check the bike. We go in uh, our adventure. What time we start? Yeah, early. Uh, early. At what? six o'clock. Six o'clock? Six. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. well, can we get more snacks tomorrow? Yes. Yes, the same ones, the nuts and stuff we have when we're building the trail. We have date and the... Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Certainly one of the beauties of Morocco in the Atlas Mountains is we've got huge amounts of terrain with natural trails wandering over them that are full of surprises, full of challenges that you, you have no idea what you're embracing. And that to me is what defines adventure. It's the unknowns, it's the willingness to go a little bit out of your comfort zone to embrace those unknowns and face those challenges. And you may, you may back off from them afterwards. You may pull them back in, you may say that was too much, or it may inspire you to go further. All that matters in adventure for me is that, that you're taken slightly outside your comfort zone. Where you go from there is totally up to you. I think all my expectations have been blown away. It's been absolutely incredible from the hospitality to the trails, to being up for last light, watching the sunset, and then similarly being up first thing in the morning and seeing the sunrise, the glow on the mountains. It's beautiful here. Massive, massive mountains, crazy views. Like, it's nothing I've really experienced before. That was funny that some of those carried the bike first time. <laughs> <laughs> 
in that one. So <laughs> wondering what? <laughs> For me, it's kind of, uh, quite normal that when we go to a trip, that you have to carry your bike at least one time. Mm. Yeah. Learning first time hiking a bike on my back, just real big exposure, mountains and waterfalls, and like three layers, four layers, five layers of just these mountain ranges and for as far as you could see. That's what for me mountain biking is like. Then you you have to ride what you see and not knowing the trail before and to choose the, the, the fastest line. This is our goodbye, mate, isn't yeah. it? Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you Come very much. Come here. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah. That was amazing. Next time. Yeah. Yeah. Next time, inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. Yeah. Next time. Yeah. 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 Next time. Yeah. Yeah. See you next time. Yeah. Yeah. See you next time. See you next time. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. And I hope to see you again. Yeah. In Morocco, sure. inshallah. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, you will, my friend. You will. I hope to see you again. Thank you. All right. Here he is, the famous Dan Milner. Caught in his natural environment, a world of pain. Top off everything, showing us oh. guns. <laughs> this is train 747. <laughs> Yeah, also like cuisine here was real good. Like that that rice pumpkin and uh, with the cinnamon and the sugar. Holy sh that was boring. All the swearing we will replace with. Yeah, we were talking about that outside every blooper. Awesome. I can't see a darsest thing. <laughs> <laughs> with the cinnamon and the sugar. Holy sh that was darsest boring. Let's pull the knee pads on. <laughs> Mine are off. Oh, I was like, why are they around my ankles? Like, <laughs> I've got no business doing it. You know, Dawson! <laughs> why, man? Yeah, 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 mate. Yeah. And this one is okay. I think maybe. <laughs> I like trains. <laughs>